Hi dear students and viewers, welcome back to our channel Anvila Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, in this video I am going to explain about the what is the thermal conductivity and what is meant by coefficient of thermal conductivity and one problem is related to that same topic. So, I will thermodynamics in the next long answer priority unit in the chapter Thermal Properties of Matter. Then, the first preference is Newton's Laws of Cooling and Question. That is by mistake, miss-site, irony, miss-site. Thermodynamics, Newton's Law of Cooling, e questions are miss-site. Next priority is e question. In the end, 8 months questions are not practical. Don't give any chance to lose 8 marks so then the last will be very very high unexpected loss okay that's why you have to prepare the all the 8 marks questions so that's why I'm going to say this is also important question okay what is mean by thermal conductivity so already we know that the heat can be transferred in three ways conduction convection and radiation clear the capability or the ability of the body to transfer the heat through it the ability of the body to transfer the heat through it that should be called thermal conductivity clear what is thermal conductivity the ability of the body to transfer the heat from one end to the another end this is the now one body clear the ability of the body to transfer the heat from I am saying this first end is A and next end is B. The ability of the body to transfer heat from A to the B is to A to B. That should be what we call thermal conductivity. And what is mean by coefficient of thermal conductivity? Coefficient of thermal conductivity. So dear students, so the question should be like this 8 marks question. Explain thermal conductivity and coefficient of thermal, thermal conductivity and regarding that one probability is there So after discussing of part here we can go for this one. Okay. Now coming to the point. What is the thermal conductivity? So children the amount of heat transferred the amount of heat transferred from one end to the another end That should be depend upon the area of the body area of cross section of the body this is the first one and first end this is the first end uh, at the temperature of T1 and this is the second end that should be temperature the temperature of T2 A is at the temperature of T1 and B is at the temperature of T2 then the amount of heat transferred is also depend upon the different temperature difference of two ends of the body clear why because when there is more temperature difference is there, more heat is going to be transferred. Clear. And next thing is, Q is proportional to T. So, Q is proportional to T. So, the amount of heat transferred for a long time, for a long time. So, the transmission of heat takes place for a long time, then amount of heat also transferred is more. So, this is the second one. And it is the third one. And the amount of heat transferred is inversely proportional to the length of the body. Inversely proportional to the length of the body. Because during the transformation, heat is going to be decreases. When length is more, transmitted heat is less. When length is less, transmitted is more. Clear. That's why here what you have to say, the amount of heat transferred from one end to the other end is directly proportional to the area of cross section of the body and temperature difference of two ends of the body and time of transmission of heat and inversely proportional to the length of the body from all those equations you have to write like this q is proportional to a of t1 minus t2 into t by l so this is the final condition from that equation we can write Q is equals to K into A into T1 minus T2 into T by L. Here K is called as the constant. The constant is nothing but it is the 
coefficient of thermal conductivity what it is children coefficient of thermal conductivity clear from all those conditions what right Curie is equal to K into A of T1 minus T into L. So, from that here, we will write the expression for coefficient of thermal conductivity. Coefficient of thermal conductivity, what it is? K is equal to Q into L by A of T1 minus T2 into T. This is the expression for what? Coefficient of thermal conductivity. Coefficient of thermal conductivity. So children, now you have to write the units for coefficient of thermal conductivity. What is Q? Energy. For the energy what rate? Unit is joule. And length is what? Meter. And A is what? Area of cross section meter square. And T1 minus T2 means what? Temperature difference Kelvin. And T is what? Time second. Then what right here? Joule for meter square m cancel. Joule for meter kelvin second. Joule for meter kelvin for second. And it is also written as like this. Joule for second by m into k. m into k. Then it can be written as here nothing but watt for meter kelvin. Watt for meter kelvin. This is the unit of the coefficient of thermal conductivity. What is coefficient of thermal conductivity? So now, if you have to write the dimensional formula, you can write like this also. Dimensional formula, I am going to write like this. Look here now. What is Q? Energy. So, for energy what write? M L square P inverse square is the dimensional formula. And what is L? Length. We will write L. And what is A? Area of cross section. That is nothing but L square. And T2 minus 1 is what? Temperature. That is what? Kelvin. And T is what? Time. Capital T. Then what is it here? Yum. The L square and L to the power of minus 2 like this. And L. And T to the power of minus 2. And if it is comes to numerator, T to the power of minus 1 by K. Then what it say here simply M this was 0 and this is a M L T2 power of minus 2 minus 1 minus 3 and it is comes to numerator we will write like this. So M L T inverse 3 K inverse 1. So children this is simply about the what is thermal conductivity and coefficient of thermal conductivity. Now from this equation, from this equation, how we can define the coefficient of thermal conductivity? So children, this is what you need and this is the dimensional formula children. Now how we can define this one? How we can define this one? Symbol from that equation what it is telling here? Q is equals to K of Q is equals to K of A of T1 minus T2 into T by L. Clear. Q is equal to K of A of T1 minus T2 into T by L. In that equation, in that equation, if A is equal to 1 meter square and L is equal to 1 meter and T is equal to 1 second and T1 minus T2 is 1 degree Celsius. Then obviously what we get? Q is equal to K we will get. Clear. In this formula, Q is equal to K into A. A means what we are saying? 1 meter square. And L is what? Length of the body. That is how much? 1 meter. And time of transmission of it is how much? 1 second. And temperature difference is what? 1 degree Celsius or 1 Kelvin. Then obviously, what we get? Q is equal to K. Q is equal to K. That means, the amount of heat transferred, the amount of heat transfer per second between the two ends of a body which are maintained at the temperature difference of 1 degree Celsius per unit area of the body is called coefficient of thermal conductivity. What is Q? Yes, amount of heat transfer, amount of heat transfer. Where it is transferred from one end to the another end which are maintained at 1 degree Celsius temperature difference. That means 
the amount of heat transferred from one end to the another end which are at unit temperature difference of a body of unit length and unit area of cross section per one second then it is called nothing but coefficient of thermal conductivity ante oka body isukunnappudu aa body yokka rendu ends anevi oke degree celsius temperature difference undali aa body yokka area of cross section unit antunnam and mean 1 meter square antunnam and time of transmission also 1 second antunnam and temperature difference 1 degree celsius antunnam అటువంటి కండిషన్ అప్పుడు ఎంత హీట్ అయితే ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ అవుతుందో ఆ హీట్ ఇట్ మనం ఏమంటామంటే కొవిషెంట్ ఆఫ్ థర్మల్ కండక్టివిటీ అంటాము సో చిల్డ్రన్ దిస్ ఇస్ సింప్లీ అబౌట్ ది వాట్ ఈస్ థర్మల్ కండక్టివిటీ అండ్ కొవిషెంట్ ఆఫ్ థర్మల్ కండక్టివిటీ సో ఆల్రెడీ క్లియర్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ది డైమెన్షన్ ఫార్ములా అండ్ యూనిట్స్ ఆల్సో వి క్లియర్లీ డిస్కస్ నౌ లెట్స్ గో ఫర్ ది ద ప్రాబ్లమ్ వాట్ ఈస్ గివెన్ ద ఎయిట్ మార్క్స్ క్వశ్చన్ లెట్స్ డిస్కస్ okay see the next problem children here this is the second part of the question see the question a copper bar of thermal conductivity 41 watt per meter kelvin has has one end at 104 degree celsius and other end at the 24 degree celsius the length of the bar is 0.10 meter and the cross sectional area is 1.0 into 10 power of minus 6 meter in a square meter square uh, what is the rate of heat conduction what is the rate of heat conduction along the bar so this is the question children what you are saying copper bar is there its thermal conductivity is what 401 watt per meter kelvin one and is at the temperature of 104 degree celsius and next one is at the temperature of 24 degree celsius and length of the bar is what 0.10 meter and its area of cross section is what 1 into 10 power of minus 6 meter square so children now here we how are you to find out we have to find out the rate of heat condition rate of heat condition we have to find out so already we have covered each other formula each other what is q is equals to k of a of t1 minus t2 into t by l from that we are going to write here q by t if we can bring t this side q by t is equal to what k of a of t1 minus t2 by l so children here q by t is called rate of transmission of heat what it is rate of transmission of heat we have to find out so that's why here first you have to write the given values what he was given first thing what he was given thermal conductivity that is nothing but coefficient of thermal conductivity was given k is equal to what 401 watt for meter kelvin and next one it is at temperature this is the bar here this is the t1 and this is the t2 and this is the area this is the area and this is now length clear t1 how much was given 104 degree celsius he was given we have to convert them from celsius to kelvin 104 plus 273 then what you get t1 is equal to 277 kelvin 4 plus 3 7 0 plus 7 7 1 plus 2 here 377 273 plus 104 what it is 374 and similarly here now 377 okay next one is here t2 is what you learn 24 degree celsius 24 degree celsius again 273 plus 24 so 273 and again 24 what 7 9 297 kelvin what is 297 kelvin and what was given length length of the what is here length of that is what bar is what 0 0.10 meter and area of plus is what you learn was given 1 into 10 power of minus 6 meter square meter square now substitute all these values in that formula then let us check what we get here now what is q by t rate of transmission of it is what k 401 of a is what 1 into 10 power of minus 6 of t1 minus t2 
what is what 377 minus 297 by L what is length 0 0.10 0 0.10 then what we get so let's we need some space you have to wait for one minute so I need some space so I am erasing this one okay look here now q by t is equal to q by t is equal to 401 of 10 power of minus 6 of 377 and 297 0 17 80 so what is 1 into 10 power of minus 6 into 80 by 0 0.1 0 0.1 1 will write so that means what 1 into 10 power of minus 1 1 into 10 power of minus 1 then q by t is equals to 401 into 10 power of minus 6 into and this is a 10, 10 and we can write 8 into 10 then what we get 401 into 8 into 10 power of minus 6 into 10 into 10 10 is square then what we get 401 into 8 into 10 power of minus 4 minus 4 we will get so after that you can multiply like this 401 into 8 so 8 ones are 8 8 zeros are 0 8 fours are 32 then what you here rate of transmission q by d is equals to 32.08 into 10 power of minus 4 that means what q by t that is what here 0.3208 we simply what write 0.38 joule per second r watt so children this is the rate of transmission of heat according to the given problem so dear students if you can understand this one like share comment the video so let's wait small information for you if you want to any particular topic of second year or first year then go to my place playlist already every chapter is given as a playlist prati chapter would have a playlist like what is the me calls in topics of playlist on the charity next video like chain share chain comment chain now videos me got the way in bobby stay in our equation and they catch the car my friends who will share to see subscribe to and check on me even the number of support is soon day in my channel on the way to the down the part to income and change videos and set need videos would approach it again now encouragement of swimming okay now thank you for watching